Hey there, Spark fans, Rob Reynolds here. Well, it is 2025 and we are fully living in an IoT world. Everyday devices communicating with each other, sharing real-time data, and then making decisions based on that shared data, that is like 85% incredible and only 15% terrifying. From smart homes to industrial monitoring, IoT is literally changing the way we live, work, and play. And really, it is still in its infancy. So we should expect, we can expect, amazing growth and improvements. And one such improvement to IoT might be, say, combining it with one of our other favorite acronyms, LoRaWAN. I mean, think about that for just a second. By combining these two, we can get powerful real-time data collection and sharing over really long distances, even in remote areas, with exceptionally low power draw. I know, right? That's what we thought. And that's why we made this, the new SparkFun IoT node LoRaWAN. The primary brain on this board is the Raspberry Pi Foundation's RP2350A microcontroller. You know it, you love it. Up to eight two-channel PWMs, up to two UARTs, up to two I2C buses, up to two SPI buses, plus external memory of 16 megabytes QSPI flash and eight megabytes of PS RAM. Add to that Digi's XBLR module, a LoRaWAN transceiver with modular certifications for FCC, IC, and CE standards. On the SparkFun IoT node LoRaWAN board, we've also tricked it out with a quick connector, onboard lithium ion battery charger, fuel gauge circuit, a micro SD card slot, a variety of IO pins, plus a user definable RGB LED and user button. Digi's LoRaWAN technology is really impressive. And by utilizing that amazing tool with this board, you can have your IoT LoRaWAN sensor up and running in minutes. Now I say that, but with a caveat. I mean, sure, that's a really high level view. I could tell you there's just really four steps. All you need to do is set up your LoRaWAN gateway and your corresponding Digi account, uh, register the IoT node, connect the antenna, power up the board. And really, I mean, that's what you need to do, but there are more little steps to it than that. And additionally, you'll need a few extra bits and pieces to make this work. And that's why we've added this board into a couple of kits. This is the SparkFun Digi Exxon kit. It's available in two flavors, either North American or European, and it's got all those extra bits that you're gonna to need to really get this kit up and running. These kits contain the IoT node, plus a Digi HX15 gateway for LoRaWAN, which includes a SIM card for your region, either North American or European version, depending on where you are, a SparkFun Quick Environmental Combo Breakout, that's the ENS160 BME280 board, a flex PCB antenna, a 100 millimeter flexible quick cable, and a reversible USB-A to a reversible micro-B cable. So once you have all these necessary bits, you'll need to head on over to Digi's site and set up a Digi Exxon account, as you'll need this to manage your devices. The HX15 gateway should come with a free trial token, and we should have a link in the hookup guide to where you can enter that. Now, once you've created your account, you'll need to provision your gateway, and that can be done with your phone. Simply sign in, scan the QR code on the bottom of the gateway, and you're on your way. Now, the gateway does require an internet connection, and that's usually done via the included SIM card, but if you want, you can also connect an ethernet cable and do it that way. Uh, similarly, your IoT node is also gonna need to be provisioned, and it's a very similar process. There's a data matrix right here on the module, scan it with your phone, that'll get you moving forward. And this all may sound like a lot, but really it does just come down to those four steps. You need to set up your account and your gateway, you need to provision your node, you need to connect your antenna and sensor, and you need to power it up. Now, this kit is great for getting your first project going, and that's why we recommend it. Get it going, get it together, get what you need, see what you need, learn what you need. And once that's done, once you have your first project completed with this kit, then you can move forward and personalize it, get only the components you need for whatever project you might need. What do you wanna do with this? What can you do with this? Just think IoT project, whatever your IoT project is that you have in mind, and then expand its footprint. Say my barn is a quarter of a mile from my house, I wanna keep an eye on the particulate matter in the hayloft, but I don't wanna to have to slog, through. I mean, come on, it's January, I don't wanna slog through the snow to go out and see. I wanna be able to tell wirelessly using LoRaWAN. Gee, is the hay dust too high in there? Do I need to turn on a fan, exhaust something? Well, with this, you can do that. I wanna know the temperature of my basement versus the temperature of my attic. You can do all that. So once you've created your first project with a kit, then I recommend buying the node individually and buying the components that you need to go with it. Buy one, buy a dozen, buy as many as you want and personalize it, make it your own. So for the fastest, easiest way to get up and running, pick up one of the SparkFun Digi Exxon kits for LoRaWAN. Or if you're ready to move forward, get a little more personalized, go a la carte, that's when I recommend 
going with the SparkFun IoT node LoRaWAN. Get them all over on our website. And as always, come on, say it with me one last time. Stay safe, be kind, and happy hacking. We are fully living. Nope. You'll need to head over to Z D -d 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 Everyday devices communicating with each other. Everyday devices. Mm -hmm. Everyday devices. Slow it down, Rob. Than that, than just this board. Uh, I want to go back. I was like, where was the stumbling word? Did I say it already? And not stumble? Well, that'd be cool. <laughs>